Queen Elizabeth II was so upset over Princess Diana's decision to move Prince William and Harry away from Balmoral, according to a royal author. Prince William and Prince Harry have a warm relationship with their grandmother the Queen, which has continued with the joy Her Majesty evidently shares with her great-grandchildren including Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. Last month's pictures from Christmas at Sandringham reveal how the royals spend time together as a happy united family. However a royal author claims Princess Diana made a decision in William and Harry's early years that left Her Majesty the Queen crestfallen and so upset. 2010 book William and Harry, by royal expert Katie Nichols, takes a look behind the scenes and the lives of the young princes. Ms. Nichols describes how the Prince and Princess of Wales often took William and Harry to the Queen's estate at Balmoral, especially during the New Year's holidays. It was usual for all the royal family to stay in the main house at Balmoral together, however Princess Diana broke with that tradition. Ms. Nichols said, Diana, who privately complained to Charles that she felt suffocated at Balmoral, had needed some space. When Diana had insisted on moving out of the main house into Cray I Gowan Lodge a mile away the Queen had been crushed fallen. She writes how that the Queen had obliged, knowing it was best not to antagonize her daughter-in-law, and offered the use of the lodge where she resides when Balmoral is open to the public. Ms. Nichols reports how the Queen's cousin, Lady Elizabeth Hanson, said, The Queen was so upset when Diana and the boys moved to the lodge. She said, why did they have to move? There are so many corridors for them to race down here and it's so quiet now they have gone. Ms. Nichols also described how the Queen and Prince Philip doted on the young princes. She writes, they adored the time they got to spend with William and Harry. The Queen encouraged them to let off steam at Balmoral, and Prince Philip taught them how to salmon fish, and the boys would spend hours romping with him through the wild Scottish countryside. 